all right so before going into the video let me first of all accept few things uh, since i'm teaching for csi net category and uh, since i'm teaching it from i guess past five or six years now so uh, now like it it is possible that because i'm teaching i know few things like i i have things in my mind and because of teaching regularly like few things it it builds up right with practice with with when you stick to a particular thing for long duration you you learn more things about it so it is possible that because of that i felt that the paper was little easier on the easier side especially i'm talking about part b okay and uh, in the part c i'm talking about uh, physical chemistry portion and inorganic physical and inorganic portion i'll discuss in detail in this video that's why i'm making it because just now i reached and uh, on my way itself i recorded the video where i just gave you the initial impression and there i said that uh, the cutoff might be 110 plus uh, and a lot of you didn't like many of you didn't actually like like that you thought that the cutoff will be lower than that see it's my opinion you can agree or disagree with it it's totally up to you but it's what that's what i felt by giving this exam it is possible that i might have over uh, you know um, over expected it but uh, yeah uh, let us talk about the exam in detail in this video okay so first of all uh, regarding the interface regarding the uh, regarding the interface which you got for this exam so this interface is different than gate we got similar interface which we got in the previous exam but this time uh, it was a lot better uh, this time calculator was not there uh, i guess in the past few years csir has never given uh, cal calculator except in uh, february 2022 exam okay uh, like whatever exam happened that time that that is basically csir june 2021 exam so that csir june 2021 exam was the only one uh, where we got a calculator this time there was no calculator and then uh, the interface was little bit better than the previous one questions were quite visible over here although it was bilingual for everyone like whether you have chosen english or hindi for everyone the question paper was in the bilingual like it was bilingual in english and hindi both uh, for that you like a lot many of you might have felt problem with it but it was fine for me i felt that it is it was not that clumsy as it was in the last time then uh, let's talk about the sections okay uh, section wise so first of all part a uh, part A was little on the lengthier side, I would say. The questions were not that easy. You cannot answer it just by looking into it, except few questions. Like at least three, four questions were there, which could have been done. Like the graph related question was there. Then one tic tac toe wala question was there. That that question actually is a tricky question. Uh, then part A was on the lengthier side. Uh, to solve all 15 questions, it took around 35 minutes to me uh, in the exam itself. So I can understand that if uh, like someone uh, who is not having that much of mathematical background or if someone is uh, just going with the chemistry preparation for that person in the 30 minutes uh, like are doing around 8 to 10 questions was quite fine but not more than that was little like if you have done 10 questions from part A it's very good attempt okay. Uh, less than uh, 5 uh, or if you have done 5 questions from part A it's a decent attempt okay. So considering the part A section which we got this time. Now coming to the part B. Part B section this time like it was I felt that it was very straightforward things were asked like uh, like uh, if you have read that you could have answered and uh, from inorganic portion there were so many questions which were very very direct like uh, the oxidation state of europium was asked in the uh, and then uh, uh, like the structure of ruthenium complex was there so many questions were there which were very direct uh, if you just know the basic concept just you will get that in uh, like one or two minutes you, it won't take much time to solve those questions then some questions were very direct from your notes itself uh, from main block elements like uh, the conductivity of all the three four uh, like molecules were there then there was a question where uh, it was asked about carbon 13 nmr and the nmr based questions means organic spectroscopy based questions were very good and they were very easy also if you just know the basic concept and if you have solved organic spectroscopy decently three questions were there if i i remember properly among b and c both the sections and all three of them were easy to attempt uh, then there was iupsc naming that was itself like it was also a easy question so uh, yeah that's what i will say that part b was very straightforward then one question was there from letima diagram uh, that was also again a previous year question actually if you have done previous years questions you would have done that here directly and uh, then there were few questions which are very direct from the book which we have recently launched 1000 plus mcq so uh, there were around three to four questions which i saw they were like quite three uh, two three were very relatable and one or two were direct questions like exactly same questions which were there so i was very happy with it because uh, it took a lot of time and effort to make that ebook and uh, when 
uh, you get questions from that ebook in the main exam it is actually a good feeling so i'm happy with that and uh, yeah so part b according to me was very straightforward okay and uh, scoring i guess if you have done 25 plus questions from part b it would have been a good score like you could have done 25 plus question i, I don't know much about organic portion as such because i am not an organic chemist now okay i was but now i'm not an organic chemist but yeah uh, from organic spectroscopy from pericyclic whatever questions i could have seen they were not that difficult and from goc also questions were easy but uh, reaction mechanism part i am not aware about you guys let me know in the comment sections so yeah uh, doing 25 questions from part b was quite like it was do doable coming to part c now part c was like a little on the lengthier side i would say some questions especially in the physical chemistry portion uh, one thing which amazed me is that this year uh, they were surprisingly less question from thermodynamics and quantum chemistry questions were also like one question was so simple from uh, commutation i guess if you have seen the like uh, like seen my videos uh, you would have done that question and all the plus student and academy plus student i have done like i have given you those type of question a lot many times so that was easy to do okay then uh, there was one more question from uh, like uh, quantum chemistry that was also like you have to scratch your head a little bit but that was also doable we'll be having a detailed solution on all of them once the response sheet comes and once we get the question paper as such but yeah uh, part c was as i said it was a little bit on the lengthier side but it was not like you won't be able to do at, at least around uh, 15 to 20 questions from part b okay it was not like if you have studied for the exam if you have prepared for the exam see 10 to 12 questions were easily doable i am talking about all the three sections organic again i am excluding it uh, like or organic reaction mechanism and all i am excluding i am talking about inorganic and physical and see inorganic questions from part c they were not that direct this time they have tried to play with your mind like uh, the question which, where they have asked about the transitions of that nickel complex actually uh, they were they have given the values in terms of uh, wavelength so first of all you have to convert in terms of like you have to see the order in terms of energy and then you have to see or you have to match the answer so uh, there are the places where people will make mistakes and that's what they were trying to do so yeah part b was little bit on the lengthier side a decent uh, uh, someone who is who has prepared for the exam can easily do around 20 question if you have done 20 plus question from part c excellent very good if you have done around 50 to 20 questions it's a decent thing okay you have uh, like you have approached it decently okay now all in all if i say so again i will like i might over expect or overestimate the cutoff but according to me it was somewhere around like it was not less than 100 marks okay if the cutoff is not going to go less than 100 marks uh, that that is what i can surely say and uh, it all depends on how many students are there who have seriously studied and how many of them are like uh, who are just going for the exam and like for the exam sake okay so it depends on the students now but uh, what i got the feedback in my center i asked to so many students and we interacted after the exam and first of all it was a very good experience thank you so much for coming and talking to me it like i feel very good uh, when when you guys come and you talk to me okay so like it, it is something which i cannot express in words but yeah thank you so much and to all those who were there on my center and were not able to talk to me uh, since i was in little hurry so i'm really sorry for that but yeah uh, i try to interact with as many of you as i can and as many of you who came to me so fine uh, coming back to things so there also i got this feedback that the paper was not on the tougher side you cannot say that it's a tough exam uh, if you want to see a tough exam or if you want to see a question paper which is which was tough so you should see uh, 2020 exam okay csir net 2020 exam that was a tougher exam and uh, yeah that's what something which you should look upon uh, as i said in the starting itself that the cutoff which i am predicting is totally my opinion i might overestimate it but uh, uh, like it's up to you you can agree disagree whatever it is so don't consider my cutoff as the final cutoff that csir will decide and you will get to know in one one month okay within one month i guess result will come and uh, if if csr works properly but yeah i am quite happy with how they have managed all the things uh, earlier when the csr exam like since it was done in a hurry it seems then the uh, admit card was given in a hurry and then centers were changed like i don't know how they did all these things but now at the end everything ends well and uh, it was a good experience as overall okay so that's it from my side for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye-bye. Take care.